everybody welcome to week five now we are in lesson design and a few things that I want you to know by this point you definitely need to be setting up your lesson and uh, but you can definitely change up whatever you have and um, and get creative and do something different so you want to stick to the same genre that's that's pretty much the only restriction but you can change things up and I say that because sometimes I you know I wake up almost like possessed and I'm like hey I want to try this or I want to do this by all means I'm not gonna stifle your creativity the other thing is is if you're having trouble with setting something up by all means reach out because this is kind of my jam and I really love this stuff so I'd, I'd be happy to be of service um, and spend really as much time as needed to to help you uh, set up uh, an experience that, that you're hoping you know can uh, can hit so um, remember that as you do this, other educators are going to look back and see how you implemented the lesson. And the reason that you need to document this is so that somebody else can potentially use it. So your lesson shouldn't be a standalone lesson and it should have built up within the regular classwork. Furthermore, the lesson needs to lead to other cycles of learning. It doesn't matter where the lesson fits in. It just matters or the most that what matters more is going to be how you document this and share this so a lot of the slides if you have for example something that you do differently or you say differently you can change up what i have there to include what you have so by all means like improve on what's there um, your lesson could possibly take more than a few days and if that's how you're going to go about it by all means your lesson might be an hour and if that's how you go about it that's okay as well just document it if your lesson is not successful, change it up and see if you can modify it. If it totally fails, document the process and be reflective on how you could improve it. So for example, if you're doing a Socratic seminar with fifth graders and then um, it doesn't go well, like tell us what happened for it not to be successful and then what can somebody do to implement that within their class. And then if it was successful, like you'll tell us, you know, why was it successful and what you could have done next. Uh, so the I don't want to say that this is an off week. It's more of a very, very light week. And uh, that's because you're working on your lesson design. And then um, uh, the only thing that, that's going to be required for you to turn in this week is going to be your questions for the Twitter chat. So here at CSUB, we hold the EdTech Twitter chat every semester within our EDT 4200 course. Those are usually people that are seniors in college or first year teachers, more seniors in college than first year teachers. Um, it's an intro level course for new and future teachers. Usually we have well over 200 students co and community members participating in this week long virtual event. Um, we've had the same questions for two years now and this year you all are going to submit the questions so that we can revamp this event. Our theme this year is integrating technology into a virtual classroom. I think that kind of fits right. And uh, I'm wondering where we can find bold and amazing experienced teachers to share this knowledge. And I hope you're smiling right now because that is you. So uh, let me show you um, just the big thing that you're going to do there. Let's see. So I go here. I have the, you're just going to add the four questions. Boom. Go into it. And so these are the questions that we've had for the last uh, two years in the EdTech Twitter chat. And it's your task to come up with potential questions that we can incorporate into Twitter chat that takes place on week six. Um, we'd like for the Twitter chat to address issues in equity. Think of the readings on week one and two, um, your own classroom experiences, and then your current lesson design. Uh, the title for this Twitter chat is Tentatively Integrating Technology into a Virtual Classroom. So some things to consider. Your target audience is future teachers and first year teachers, easily over 200. So they're all, they're all from the course EDT 4200. A lot of them don't have teaching experience, but they were K-12 students for a long time and university students. How can we still have this meaningful dialogue? So if, if many of them haven't taught, how do we prepare them to become equitable teachers, especially at this stage? So your task is to include four questions, nothing more, nothing less, and then add those questions in the cells beneath the image. We'll be selecting these four questions to include in the Twitter chat. If you've got something that might potentially be funny or something that could, uh, you know, really engage people, by all means, let it, you know, put it there and, and maybe that'll be the question that we select. All your names are going to be here on the left hand side. Um, so then you'll just paste your questions here. Question number one, what has been your favorite technology resource in EDT 4200? Why? Um, is there a tool that we haven't covered that you would like to share? Can you change that question? You know, can, can it be more equity based? Can we uh, make it more relevant to what's going on with virtual teaching? You know, maybe the first question is, you know, <laughs> um, you know, give a something good that's happened in virtual learning and something or a glow and a grow. I don't know. That's going to be all up to you guys. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. 
definitely reach out if you have any questions. I want you all to be successful. If you're, um, yeah, I've said it all. Just uh, stay safe and have a great week.